New to Risa Floor version 15 and Risa Foundation version 13 is the ability to exclude results. Excluding results from your model is useful when there are certain elements whose results aren't of interest to you. Removing this clutter from your results will enable you to concentrate on the elements that you're most interested in. So here's an example of a Risa Floor model where there's a lot of information on the design results for all of the seal beams in the model. This particular floor, there's a lot of beams. But say for this particular instance, I'm really only interested in looking at those gravity end reactions for my lateral moment frames. So I can easily do that using our exclude feature. First, let's go ahead and actually take a look at our end reaction spreadsheet with all of the data for the entire floor. You can see all of the end reactions for all of the beams here. We'll scroll to the bottom and you can see that we've got 490 lines of data. That's a lot of data. So what I'm actually going to do here to only view the information for my moment frame beams, I'm going to first utilize our selection tools and I'm going to deselect the entire model. Then I'm going to use our select by criteria tools here and I'll go to the beams tab. And for the function, I'm going to choose lateral and select OK. So now I only have selected my lateral beam elements here on the second floor. Now I only want to view the data for these beams, so I'm going to choose exclude. Now I'm presented with this exclude results confirmation message. So what this is saying is it's warning me that I'm about to exclude all of the information, all of the results for all of the unselected elements out of my model. So I will no longer see uh, any results in my spreadsheets for the unselected elements. So only selected elements will be presented in my spreadsheets. This is exactly what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and choose yes. You'll see that we've got this display, always display this confirmation before excluding results message here. Um, and so I always like to have that displayed just to remind me that the elements that I have selected will be the ones that will be included in my spreadsheets. But if you no longer, if you realize you no longer have that message or you disabled it and you want it back, you can easily do that by coming to your tools, going to your application settings, and you'll see this option here that says show exclude results confirmation message. So you can always come back to your application settings and enable that if it's something that you disabled previously. So we went ahead and we excluded our results. I can come over here to my end reaction spreadsheet and you can see we only have 10 rows of or 10 rows of data here now. We only have the five beams that we've included here in our spreadsheet. We can see by coming to our code check spreadsheet as well that we only have our five beams. So by graphically selecting our elements and using that exclude button, we went ahead and filtered out all of our results spreadsheets. Something else you can do if you wanted to exclude results here, I'll come into my end reaction spreadsheet, is you can actually exclude results within each individual spreadsheet themselves as well. So to do that, what I'll actually do is say I want to exclude all of the information below M55, below M member M55. So to do that, I'll highlight this row and I'm going to choose exclude after. And so now member M62 is no longer included in this result spreadsheet and I could print out the data on this spreadsheet as it pre is presented right here. By excluding results in your spreadsheet, you're not that's not going to be reflected in other spreadsheets. So I can come to my code check spreadsheet again and we can see that member M62 still exists here on this spreadsheet. Now, if I come back to my end reaction spreadsheet and I want M62 back on my spreadsheet, um, a quick and easy way to do that here is actually with all five of those elements selected, M62 included, I can just choose that exclude option on my graphic display and go ahead and choose yes. And I'll come back to my end reaction spreadsheet and you can see that M62 is returned and that kind of just reset our results filter. Similarly, if we want to go ahead and view the results for all of our members again, we don't have to resolve the model. So that'll save us some time. All we have to do is actually just select the entire model. So all the elements in the model are selected. Choose the exclude results option again, select yes, and then let's go ahead and open up our end reaction spreadsheet. And you can see all of the information for our model is back here in our spreadsheet and we didn't have to rerun the model. So that's a quick and easy way to exclude results within Risa Floor.
What we can do is I'm going to actually utilize our director feature here, and we're going to go ahead and navigate over to Risa Foundation. And we'll, we'll navigate through Risa 3D and get into Risa Foundation so that I can show you how we can also exclude results within Risa Foundation. Now that we're in Risa 3D, I can run a quick analysis to transfer all the reactions at my boundary conditions for each basic load case into Risa Foundation. So now you can see all of the loading information from Risa Floor and Risa 3D have been brought into Risa Foundation for us to be able to design our foundation elements. I'm going to go ahead and disable the display of those loads here. And you can zoom in, you can see we've got a few different foundation elements. We've got some pile caps as well as some grade beams and a couple slab elements. So I'll go ahead and solve the model and excluding results in Risa Foundation is very similar to excluding results in Risa Floor. So you'll follow those same procedures. You'll select the elements that you wish to include in your results and you'll deselect the elements which you wish to filter out. Um, so to do that, what I'm actually going to do is say I'm particularly interested in just investigating this slab element here. So similar to how we saw in Risa floor, what I can actually do is maybe we want to take a look at our point reaction spreadsheet. And with all of the information in our data in our model here, this spreadsheet amounts to nearly 3000 lines of data. And so if I only want to actually just view the results for my slab element, what we can do here is I'll deselect the entire model. And I'm going to use my selection tools here to select just this slab element. And so what I can actually do is I'm going to choose exclude, choose exclude results. And you'll see we have our point reaction spreadsheet here. Now, as I scroll, you're going to see there's a lot of data points and you're probably wondering where did all of these data points come from? Because I only have so many viewed here on my display. So actually what Risa Foundation does when it does a slab analysis, it's creating a finite element mesh. And so it's creating additional points at those mesh intersections. So I can actually come here to my model display options and on the points tab, I'll choose this option that says include generated points and I'll choose apply. So there are point reactions that are being generated at each of these individual points that are a result from our plate mesh. So maybe if we can, we can take a look maybe at our contour, maybe we want to take a closer look at this corner over here. It seems to be deflecting the most. So maybe what we'll want to do is uh, turn off our contour display real quick and let's just take a look at the points in this area. So I can go ahead and choose exclude again. And then that way I'll be presented with only the nodes in this corner. You can see we've significantly reduced the amount of rows in our spreadsheet to 70. And so that's for two load combinations here because I ran two separate load combinations. So you can really fine tune your slab mesh and look at point reactions for individual points throughout your slab uh, that way as well. It's also nice to note that I can go ahead and select the entire model here. And when you look at a grade beam, uh, Risa also creates points generated along the grade beam as well. So there's automatically generated points that will be included in that point reaction spreadsheet. And you have the ability to include and exclude those from your results as well. So similar to Risa Floor, you can exclude all sorts of results from Risa Foundation to clear up um, any clutter out of your spreadsheets to help you determine your analysis. If you're interested in learning more about Risa, please visit our website at risa.com.